In this video, I'm going to be walking you step by step through what goes through my mind in a live online money game in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, uh, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies found on the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna be rocking my Arizona Air Raid spread offense, and I'm actually really, really excited to talk to you about uh, kind of some of the new stuff that I've got going out of this. So uh, basically, we're kind of coming back, and I'm gonna run this play as much as I possibly can in this video, because I wanna talk about the power of this route. So uh, we're actually utilizing Curl Wheel. This is one of my favorite passing plays. Um, in the game and this is just such a simple read uh, and what we want to do is we really want to kind of force our opponent to have to use that post that's kind of step one to the offense and so we actually just put an updated version of this air raid offense into our true fan membership if you don't know what the true fan membership is it's a five dollar a month deal and basically what you get by joining the true fan membership is you get a new uh, or a offensive update every single week you get a defensive update every single week, so you can always know what I'm doing, what the pros are doing, what the latest and greatest is happening. And then the next thing that you're going to get is you're going to actually get a pro player analysis. So we're going to do an analysis on a pro player every single week. Um, and as you can see, this is like a layup. It's literally just layup, boom, layup, boom, snap, throw. If they're not using it, I'm throwing it every time. Um, it's the best route in the game. It's the hardest route to card in the game. Uh, it, it actually is because you can throw it so fast. You, you see how I can throw it? So he has to literally, like the ball ball snapped, he has to run and go get it. He can't wait on it. Like it, that's what's so powerful. And I will literally throw this ball. You will almost get bored watching, but just watch the view of this. We broke this down on the channel today, this route. We also broke it down in our True Fame membership a little bit more in depth uh, as far as like what they're going to do once they start to you know see that you're literally going to throw this every time. I mean, I will literally throw it every single time. Um, you'll you'll watch this game. Just want you to watch circle. I'm gonna force him to stop it. See here. Now now notice he's going back there with his user. So now I can check down. I and I was trying to kind of set that up there, but I just want you to watch. If he does not go there first off rip, I will throw it every time. It's also why I actually kind of tinker around sometimes with running that post to the short side versus to the wide side. So see here. See how he's going to it now? Look how far his yellows are dropping back, though. Now I've got hitches I can run underneath. I've got so much opening um, just based on how he defended me. Um, the cool part is I could flip this formation. I could come out in it flipped if I wanted to as well um, to get that route on the short side of the field. So you just have all these options. But anyway, right here, we're going to go double. We're going to go with like kind of a curl flat concept on the back side. But I just want you to watch here again. He's not using it. We're going to throw it every time. You see, he doesn't run to it. We will throw it every single time until he decides that he's going to try to take that away. That is how you have to run this offense because it's, it's very indicative. It's very similar uh, to the way the air raid offense would run mesh post. They would... If they're looking to that solo receiver, if he's open, we're throwing it every time, every time, every time, every time. So you've got to you've got to embrace that if you're going to be effective in this offense. Now on defense, uh, we're going to be running the nickel three three five wide. I think three three five wide. It just I'm telling you right now, it just doesn't get any better than three three five wide for the last two years. It's been the best defense in the game for the last two years. And I'm pretty much guaranteeing you, at least right now, based off of the film that I've seen of the beta and what I've played and what I've been talking with people, um, it is looking like 335 wide is going to at least be the best defense to start next year's game out. So, um, you know, if you want the best defense, I would tell you right now, uh, 335 wide is going to be right at the top. I think three, it, it's going to be a good year. We're going to have a lot of a lot of fun playing uh, Madden 22. But you can see this this um, air raid offense is going to be really, really important. The other thing that's really cool about Madden 22, at least the way that it's kind of setting up at this point, is you're not going to be able to like use her more than two routes of a play. And so the reason that's good for my offense is because they can't stop that one route. 
that route they have to guard it and so basically it's going to open up everything else so as you see here my opponent's running some single back ace trying to get over here and that's decent defense and we're just going to give him kind of a a base look until he shows he can beat it one of my favorite defenses is this um this like cover three basically cover two uh cloud but you see how this is going to work so we've got really nice coverage on the short and wide side of the field um got that quarter flat got cooked on the right side quarter flats are not the move out of a mabel if you're really trying to defend the sideline you want to change the quarter flats into curl flats i think it's really a i've talked about it before on the channel it's really a, a significant tip that's why i like out of here you're going to see i'm putting purples out there but i'm putting curl flats uh i'm putting you know i'm putting vertical hooks for the hitches i'm putting curl flats for the other reeds so good route to that little trail route to the back um yeah, if you want to get the exact defense I'm running, you can get that in the description too. Um, both the offense and the defensive guides are going to be linked down below. The best way to catch everything that I'm doing is honestly um, to use the use the True Fan membership. That's kind of why we created it, which is a simple it's a simple way that you can always be up to date with like the latest and greatest. So you know it's five bucks a month, so that's pretty cheap, and um, yeah, it'll get you rolling. All right, so let's see what he's kind of doing here. If he's running stretch, he is going to run some stretch on us. And single back ace, honestly, and I totally missed a tackle. Um, single back ace, in my opinion, is actually one of the harder sets to box. Um, single back ace, not ace twins, not ace slot, not, not ace close, right? Or ace close is probably there too. But because of the symmetry, it's hard to um, fully understand like where to stand and everything like single back ace is what gives me the most trouble it's one of the offenses like it, as far as like an under center run that's the run that me to me under center from a running perspective single back ace probably one of the better ones because you can run stretch from it you put but you can also if you have a if you have a good single back ace playbook you can actually run the 01 trap um, and they honestly have like pretty decent passing concepts that you can create from single back ace especially if you get like a play with has skinny post or posts on the outside they even have some plays that are similar to curl wheel in that so you know anyways this is pretty good so anyways back to the offense um we're gonna run kind of a traditional mesh post here but again we're re really the only thing we're looking right there off rip can we throw it we can and we're gonna throw it every single time we're seven of seven on that route I think we've only thrown two other routes. Um, so we've thrown that route five times and we have completed it five times, okay? And that's how good of a route it is. It will continue to open up. Now you see here, look look what he's doing. Now he's now he's moving. You see that? You see his movement? See where he's standing? He's standing in the passing lane of that route. Now, I can let that route get open if I want to. I Remember, he that's where I start to, when, when I start to notice he's gonna sit like that, that's where I really like to run these hitches. Um, these, these hitches are kind of critical uh, for this because these hitches are going to really force him to have to choose. So you'll see here, snap the ball. He's on the D lineman. We're throwing it every time. Every single time. If he's not going to that one spot, we're throwing the ball. Every time. And uh, it's just so important that you understand this because if you can understand that, you can run this offense because this offense is completely predicated on that route doing what it just did you're gonna see here we're gonna go back to it so here he's running man watch 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 see how it's gonna get open at multiple points he came off the route he'd instantly throw it very simple but man it's so hard to stop man um, the other cool part about the Arizona playbook is this gun cluster strong um, it's the best quick base in the game and it's um, uh, you can do some little motions to make it even better so you see here I can motion this guy over here kind of kick out got a nice little guard block so out of a no huddle situation you're into cluster and the cool part is audible is so fast um so this is a really good little scheme um you have to start with that curl wheel play though the curl wheel play is the foundation and i will run that play all game i, I will literally run that one play all game until they prove to me that they can stop it with all of the different routes that i can put on the field that kind of attach itself to that curl or to that post but as you see, 
They can't user it um, for just a second and then pass it off to a zone. There's no zone in the game that guards it. That's why it's so good. Um, man doesn't guard it, and there's no zone that does. Man doesn't guard it, and there's, and there's no zone that does. Okay, so right here, whenever I play under center, I love to just blitz the crap out of them. Um, I just think it's the way to play under center. So if I see my opponent like doing that, where he's going to eye pro or eye close or strong close, or like I just blitz them. I, I, I just blitz them, and it, and it just is what it is. Now, one little thing that I like to do out of this um, is you see that little movement of those guys. This helps just a little bit with um, it. Just it just kind of gives the illusion that if they try to roll out, they're gonna get they're gonna get bagged. Now, again, if you're if you're dropping, I also really just like this better. So again, you're just widening them out, and then all you're doing is you're repurpling them. And of course, I got like, clicked off there. So good read by him. But when you move them out like that, it also gives them the opportunity. So, like, if you're playing a formation like this, I can move him out just like I did. And then I can move him out. And I can basically get a press on these guys. Whoops. And I still have solid run defense. So, it's a really good way to defend, like, um, spread formations. You see here, I'm just going to move him all the way over here. And then, see how they're right over the top? And then you see here, I mean, I took forever to do it, but now I can run just simple clouds. But look at look at how they basically take away anything the inside receiver. Now, he, he kind of came back and threw a post of his own on that left side. But you, you kind of see what I'm talking about, where you can really, um, the, the cool part is it really does a good job of bagging a lot of different things. It works against um, un, it works against under center, too. And, of course, I'm, I'm just going to have to stick on this guy. I'm not, on a, not who I want to be on here. So, yeah, when he goes to iPro, it's just not a good look for him. But moving these linebackers out this year is, like, such a good move. So, you see, I'm just going to move him over. And then I'm going to move this guy all the way over on this slot, and I'm going to man him up. So, now I've got press man that I can run on both sides, and then I've got these purple zones. See, see how it jams them and really kind of messes up the crossers? That's why I, that's another little simple little tip that you can use. Uh, right here we'll see if he throws it and he does throw it right at me and i totally don't catch it but that's that's what i'm talking about that's like a little little adjustment that um i think is super super valuable so you see how we just kind of get them out here and at least if they at least if nothing else it gives the illusion that that's going to be covered and then as you see here we're just getting sheds like crazy and uh and we're going to be able to bag them up force a punt we've got 16 seconds one time out so we throw one post route we might you know maybe get some rack yards on it the cool part about that post route whenever I need to gain a lot of yards um, what I like to do let me see if I can just get this to go to the 25 so what I like to do in like a situation like this um, is I love to streak the slot if you streak the slot um, or not the slot the, the outside receiver it's really good you could do either one but but what we're gonna do on this is we're gonna we're gonna put square on a fade so he's gonna pull all of these zones. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a hitch route here, a hitch route here, and then um, honestly, I like to do a block and release just to get a little extra protection. I'll probably just block the running back, but just watch this post work over the middle. So you see here, just step up, step up. See how it gets open all the way across the formation? And I, I almost completed it. I, I got a bad um, swerve catch. But that's a little, just a little jump that you can get on your opponent. Um, let me see what I want to do in this situation here. Probably, honestly, H shallow cross is the read. Um, this route's a circle. It's a little bit of a different type of post. Uh, he's actually showing some pretty decent pressure here. So we're just going to take this little inside route to the back and just get a couple yards and, and, and call it good. So you see that that route it really does have to be user defended all the way across it can't just be user defended for like a second or two um that's that's what makes it special every other post route in this game can be usered and then they can pass it off to a zone for example a skinny post you can use it and then pass it off to the middle third that's the same thing that you can do with pat sale and deep attack now on a bunch because of the way the route was changed this year this is the only route in the game that you can't do that with and um, it just opens up a world of possibility. All right, so we got iPro here, just blitzing. 
Um, let me see here. So I back to defense for just a minute. Another little simple way that you can do this is you can just spread your linebackers. If you don't want to like actually touch them, you can just spread them. And you see here, it just opens these opens up opens up a lot of gap shooting possibilities. Another thing you can do if you're worried about the run um, is just simply spy your safeties. Oops. Whoops, totally busted that run D. See, he's doing, he's just running a kind of an interesting little offense here. Another little thing that you can do if you want to, it's actually pretty good for something like this, is you go to Mike Blitz O, and then what you do is you spy your safeties because they're manned up on the backs. This is a pretty good eye form D. Because uh, you see the purples will do a good job of kind of sitting. I needed Jair to act, activate for me on that, but he didn't. But that's another little jump you can get. These are like little things that you can get. You kind of pick up as you play these formations. Um, of course, as I say that, I'm getting you know, darted. But here you'll see like we're going to put those flats out there. They're really doing a good job of containing. We've got the spy, and we're just kind of in the middle of the field. Um, and he is going to end up scoring on us. We're not shifting our D-line. We, we should have shifted our D-line to the right or to the left on that. But good drive by him. And to be honest, I really want to just get to the offense. <laughs> I, I, the defense has been the same defense all year. It's been the best defense all year. Uh, I've been running it for the last two years, and it's just, it's just that good. It, it really is. Like it gives you the best personnel on the field because you can basically run a dime set um, or a dollar set where you have linebackers at ends, you have a defensive end at tackle, and then you have uh, safeties at all the linebacker position. So on that front. It's like awesome because you could basically run that without getting weak boxed, uh, which is really really valuable uh, in my opinion because it gives you it just gives you an additional two to three people that you can put in coverage consistently. Okay, so if you see this corner on the left side, if you see that he's playing off, I love to put this little quick out here, uh, and basically if there's a window to throw it, I'll throw it every time. Um, so if the defender is backed off like that, chances are, um, you know, they're going to be susceptible to out routes. So you're going to force them to have to press up. That's another little jump that you can get on people. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about that, though. I really want to just show this, show off this powerful post route. So here you'll see again, users down in the middle. Easy read, right on the cut. So it starts, this is why I like the spread. Um, I like this more from spread. You can have similar concepts to this from um, U-Trips, but the problem with U-Trips is that U-Trips doesn't give you the same spacing that spread does, number one, and the route actually isn't as good as this route. So anyway, watch circle. You're going to see. Now, he, now this is what they do. You see that right there? I'm just going to take a sec. That's what people start doing. They literally will get on the player, and they will jump. They will jump onto it. So one of my little tips or one of my little jumps that I'll get on people is uh, you could just do this right here. You can flip the play. Now obviously they're going to have time. They're going to have plenty of time to get over there. Um, so I don't want to diminish that. We can also throw the out route. But I just want you to watch here square. Now you've got it coming on this side, other side here, and you see they're going to have to see how he's starting to do that. So now that we've got him to do that. Now uh, we can, it's going to open up a lot of, you know, just a lot more opportunities. Okay. So we're just going to run kind of a traditional uh, curl flat here with an option route. Right on the cut, easy read, easy money. See, if he's not, if he's not on that outside corner, it's pretty much not a thing. Like he has to either run directly at it or... And this is going to open up, and I know I'm going to get a fourth down. Of course I am here, so we might have to go to something else just to get the first. But um, but that's the beauty of this of this of this play. So now we need like a deeper play. So we're going to put the. You see here, we're gonna we're gonna smart route the route. And did I get five yards? Oh my gosh, I got five yards. Dang. Honestly, for this, we're just going to go. We're going to audible over to the gun tray offset, and we're just going to run a crosser. Because the way this guy's playing defense, I just don't think he's going to have defense for that. So if I go to this uh, PA, PA crosser, 
So you see that Adams is the one on the crosser. And of course, I'm going to get tackled. Dang it. Oh, I've thrown one incompletion. But I think the incompletion was a, was a he just didn't, he kind of didn't animate. Man, I had that route. I was trying to I was trying to show you guys that and I, I lost focus on the rest of the play. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if he throws it. This is probably gonna be pass. We'll just come up. I don't know where my flat zone is. Oh, because I put the I took the zone drops off. Let's see if he keeps throwing here. This little inside zone run is kind of glitchy. This guy must be running, must be an iPro demon. We're splitting everybody. Pocket. Deshaun, does, I think Deshaun has escape. The other thing that you can do, like when you're playing someone like this, is run the ball every play. You can go to this defense right here. Um, a nickel normal is such a quick. It's it's. That's why I like four six so much. So you have three through five. You can go to nickel normal and basically have the same personnel, and all you're going to do is you're just going to, the linebackers just now on the line of scrimmage, but you're going to get different gap shoots. It opens up the uh, ability to get different gap shoots. So, for example, like if I'm facing someone that runs the ball all the time, I can go down to this right here and just man him up on the running back. You see that? Now I've got really good coverage over the middle. Everybody's manned up. I'm sitting in the middle here, so we'll just see how this plays is run. Um, you know, but now we've got pretty good coverage. I got a sp even got a spy on the field. Um, you see, so I'm taking post and freaking a slant route. I don't know how that beats. I guess that beats band, but that's so annoying. But that's that's another thing you can do. Um, I don't even like. I'm not even that worried about his offense, but he's still kind of moving the ball on me. We should have everything. We'll see if this run shoot works. If he does run, but we're not. We shouldn't be susceptible to slants on this. See how good that is against. See how good. So nickel normal to me. If you were asking me, like, what's the best run D in the game? I would tell you nickel normal is. Um, just from my labbing, I've I've just I've just consistently seen it. The biggest problem with nickel normal is you can't pinch and bring your safeties down. So that's why it's really good for like the red zone. Got shaded down hook curls. There you see, there's the gap shoot. And now we've got a pretty good shot at holding him to three. Um, you're going to see here that I'm going to... Um, oh, these are still on default anyway. Okay, perfect. So now he has to pass. Um, pretty much has to. So we're actually going to go to this. Uh, use a rush. Go back to this here. We've got a yellow, a cloud, and of course I got clicked off. Oh, I got clicked off and he threw a slant right at me. <sighs> Dang it. Gosh, that's so frustrating. He <laughs> These are like the players you play on players on. They're like, why did I, like, why do you even play the game? He throws quick slants. Stock. <laughs> like quick slants are dotting, man. I don't know. It is what it is sometimes. Uh, I should have. I was trying to. Uh, I was trying to put the yellow on that player, and I forgot the button. And anyway, that's on me. So now the offense has an opportunity to just go down and tie the game. I feel like if we get to overtime, we'll win this game. We pretty much box his run um, with the nickel normal, that little inside zone type thing. You saw we were able to. Go, it was very clean gap shoot. So we're feeling pretty decent on defense, honestly. Um, even though we've given up, you know, easy drives, but. Now we just need our offense to come through. That one stop he got, I just felt like was on us. It wasn't 
anything he did to stop us, really. So we're just going to get back to more of a traditional drive here. We've got to go down. We've got to score. So we're going to play a little bit more for, uh, like pushing the ball down the field here. So let's see here. Just reading. I need him to playmaker him up, and he doesn't go up. Oh, that's such a dicey throw. So now you're starting to see he's starting to use her. Um, the route, this is where I love to use like curl flat concepts, wheel routes. Wheel routes are really good against this. So watch, he's going to do that. So he did man up the running back, so kudos to him on that. And we're going to take a timeout right there. The other thing you could do um, whenever they start doing that, where they're, they're using like a specific player to try to get out there, is you can just simply do that. Um, the reason I like this is because look, his user's on the other side of the field. We've got an easy dot. Obviously, you know, I shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have called that timeout, but it is what it is. Okay, so um, this is another scenario where we can run this, uh, now we can run this PA read play. You know, why I like this play um, is it's just a, it's just another um, look. So it just depends on who he's using. But see how he's using on that outside guy? He's, he's anticipating the post so much, it leaves stuff like that open. That's why this is such a good play. One of the many reasons, because it gets them to do stuff like that, right? And now our defense is going to be able to get out there and have an opportunity to maybe get a turnover and we could turn it into three points because um, he's going to have to throw. And he's, he's, he's not really, honestly, that good of a passer. Um, we just haven't played great defensively this game. But you saw, like, started to use her, started to use her. So this looks exactly the same, PA read, but it's just a fade on the left. And you're bringing the post now from the left to the right. Um, so it's just a simple little, um, little, little route concept. So 21, 21, 45 seconds remaining in this ball game. Um, this is where the defense needs to step up. We're going to double check our zone drops. We got to make sure that they're 30, uh, 10, and 10. You see here, he's going to go to his passing formation. He's going to doubles flex uh, offset. So this is where we really are trying to make sure that this defense really does do its job here. This is where the defense has to stand up. If I was him, I would run the ball but because uh, that's where he's had most of his success. There's a little slant post uh, concept fluttered up. Exactly what I said was going to happen. And bam, that's a, a pick. Let's we'll see if we can't get six out of it. Nope, all the way to the five. So now we're in really, really good position to win this ball game. We can just run the ball if we want to. Um, I don't really want to. <laughs> I want to keep throwing. So the curl wheel is just such a good, it's just such a powerful route because they, they literally have to sit on it. And so when they start to have to sit on things, um, that's where you can run simple concepts uh, let me give you an example of one where well, you can just run a deep dig on the left. Something as simple as like a deep dig. Um, you could do like a, you know, something like this. Um, you know, this is like a simple little way that you can really work this concept. So again, here, you actually play good defense. So we'll just throw that away. But, um, you know, but you, you've got, you, you've got so, so, such little things that you can do that really put him in a bind. Yeah, you also notice that it's common that a lot of people in the goal line, they like to run these cover two defenses. This is where I love this Y stick play. Um, this wrap around route to the circle receiver, you'll see if he's in cover two, as he is, we can throw a little high ball right on the edge, and there we go, we've got a nice little dot uh, cooked up for cover two. Cover two is not a good, not a good concept against spread, whether it's under um, 20 yards, or like, like right there where we're in a, inside the 10, whether it's, inside the 10 or at the five yard line on the other side of the field cover two never works against spread i'm just telling you it doesn't most people won't even try to run cover two cover two is not a good look when you're running a spread offense i'm just telling you from experience it is such a good um such a good cover two beating offense so um just like i said he was i knew he was going to throw us one he did throw us one 28 21 now and now we can play a little bit more basic um, this is where I really like this um, spreading of the linebackers so you see get him over the slot here uh, really nice get him over that tight end see how we really got a nice coverage 
Um, and then basically we just take this underneath slant. That's our responsibility. And as you can see, we're wrapping up, we're sacking, we're doing everything we need to do defensively now um, to really put the pressure on our opponent. And you'll see right here. The other thing that I like about three through five wide, I don't really do this a lot, but I actually do love this about this defense is the fact that because they're middle linebackers, um, when you audible down, you can actually cross man. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. I'm gonna cross man both of these players. Um, and I'm just watching out for the seam. Look how they take away the crossing route. See that right there? And then we've got nice deep coverage over the top to kind of close off passing lanes. So if you want to take away crossers, three three five wide is actually a really good one because if they're running, um, if they're if they're trying to run crossers, you've got you know all of these different types of zones. You see this little cross man, and then I'm just watching this seam route. That's my route that I got to go get. And of course he threw it. He might got it. He might have gotten it. But we get a nice little swat. And that's going to be the ball game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to make sure, or if you want to learn the offense that I, the exact offense that I ran, I put a link to the guide in the description. Um, the cool part about this post route also is you can literally throw it like in the red zone. So if I want to throw like a, I can smart route it right here and just throw it like a quick slant, easy read. You see, we're just dotting right now. But if you want to learn the offense, man, it's, it's fun. It's a fun offense. It's a unique offense, I think. Um, now, I haven't heard of a lot of people running in Arizona. A couple people were running it at the beginning of the year. I was running at the beginning of the year, but uh, now I'm back in it. I think it's going to be the best offensive man in 22. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the full guide, it's in the description.